Well, next thing I like to do here is put coolant pressure sensor on when I can, and I can easily take a look down here on the back of the Holly water pump. They have an eighth inch port. So I like to put this guy on it. And then since this car came with a bunch of AEM sensors and pressure sensors, one that doesn't have a label, but uh, came with the AN guys on it. They had their stuff remote mounted. So I'm gonna do the same. So I'm gonna pop that guy out and put in my 90 and grab one of these shorter hoses and see how it all works out if I need to cut one or do something else. And then I'm gonna pin it into our DT connector along with the flex sensor stuff. I wanna see if I can make this red wire the power wire for the flex and the boost control and stuff. So I'm gonna do a little bit of fun there or the blue or something else uh, something that's pinned on the other side that i can you know make key on 12 volts Alrighty then kids so i completed my sub harness for the front and i wired in alternator plug this is the flex fuel and then this is fuel pressure and this is coolant. So they all spider out of the center. And then these three, I wired pressure sensor to. So I can run the coolant line up to the sensor and then I can run back pressure. And then uh, I can just put all the sensors into that big area underneath and do some lines to get it remotely. But I'm pretty uh, excited with that. That's all the front end sensors and everything else that's getting plugged in. Everything is plugged in now. So I moved the battery cable. I don't know if I mentioned it. Uh, it was like across the valve cover and whatnot. I was able to just put it under the intake and run it out. And then my alternator and coolant are on the sub harness here that goes to this sub connector. And I have my flex fuel plugged in, my manifold temp and the fuel pressure up here, all in one breakaway unit. And for now, the three TPS pressure connectors, I shouldn't say TPS, TPS has backwards wiring, but the three pin pressure connector you are all familiar with. So all of that is doing good. It all plugged in great. So I got to start getting power to key on and mess around and then see if uh, half of this stuff works okay. Okay, a little bit ugly, but I am keyed on and I have sensors working already. So I got to keep on going. Uh, one of the things is I'm kind of screwed I got a bunch of stuff set up in here, obviously. Uh, the battery one is temporary. I gotta dig somewhere crazy for the battery. So I just connected it to this giant fuse panel here because the battery lugs are right there. Just to get it going, not long term. And then I got it to do uh, all the key on as usual stuff. So gotta find like the fuel pump trigger wires and some other things. I know it looks terrible, but uh, we're flying along here. We're doing a great job. 